get ready. You want to do it yourself? The Appalachian bus lines is getting ready to leave, and Easter Adams, they're waiting on Easter Adams to come to the bus. They're ready to go. Thank I think you. you just go without Easter. Let him go on. He'll spend the night with us here. I like this music. Oh. So I would say, as I said when I was talking with Dr. Nat Winston there a moment ago, uh, a little while ago, and uh, of all the people we've ever had here, we've had hundreds of, of great folks, nationally and internationally known people, and I sat here and listened to some to this uh, group a while ago, uh, and especially to the a cappella singing and so forth, I said, this to Nat is the most inspirational group that we've ever had. Everybody, of course, has always heard of the great Ralph Stanley from up at Coburn, Virginia. So without further ado, Ralph, or you're here somewhere, uh, yeah, we're gonna get him, we're gonna negotiating to get him back. We're, on, we're gonna have the homecoming next year for four days. We're going to try to get him here for five days. You just uh, get him warmed up in one day. Just come. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you, Ralph. Thank you. Thank you very much. Check, check, one, two. One, Testing, two. check. Thank you. 
a war-torn land of poverty somewhere across the sea. A little boy is waiting. He looks a lot like me. His hair is like the sunlight on the wings of a crow. I don't know what to name him, but I'm sure they call him Joe. Just a little boy called Joe, like so many more I know, left all alone somewhere across the sea. I want him to have my name, little Joe is mine to claim. A little boy called Joe. good to be back for our second show today and I've really enjoyed myself here with all the folks Mr. Irwin and all of the folks around here I've never I don't believe been treated so kind and I really appreciate that and I regret that I haven't been here I understand this has been going on about 17 years and this is the first uh, time we played it but I certainly hope it's not the last We're going to call on the fiddle player over there now from West Virginia. He makes his home in Virginia now. I introduced him on the first show, but anyway, he's a fine fiddle player. His name is James Price. Make him welcome. Thank you, Ralph. There's a lot of old-time fiddlers here today, and I'd like this is one of uh, one of my most favorite old-time fiddle tunes. I'd like to play it for him today. It's called Pretty Little Indian. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just a fine job, James. Thank you, Ralph. Very quickly on the lead guitar is James Shelton from Tennessee. On the, one of the five string bangers from the state of Kentucky, Steve Sparkman. Back behind me is the old 26 years he's been with me, the ex-mayor, Jack Cook. Over on the mandolin is John Rigsby from Kentucky. And uh, helping me sing here is my 18-year-old son, Ralph Stanley II. Make them all welcome. We'd like to do you another acapella. Mr. Irwin enjoyed the one we did this morning, and we'd like to do another one now. And we'll do this especially for him and all of you folks out there. We went down the road. We turned together to the ocean shore and the village that And the people have wondered. The bells don't ring. There's no preaching there. Turn back, turn back. Ye wayward pilgrims. Come back, come back to the peaceful shore. Savior's waiting to rescue you from the ranks of woe. I'd like to go back to the days of my childhood and go to church in the village there to meet my friends. And old acquaintance and sang again in the village choir. Turn back, turn back, ye wayward pilgrims. Come back, come back to the peaceful shore. Turn back, turn back. For the Savior's waiting to rescue you from the ranks of war. Okay, thank you. We'd like to do now one of our most requested gospel songs. The Stanley Brothers recorded first about 45 years ago. Got a lot of requests to do that. It's called Rank Strength. <laughs> They've all moved away 
said the voice of a stranger to a beautiful home by the bright crystal sea. Some beautiful day I'll meet them in heaven where no one will be. Everybody I met seem to be a rank stranger. Seem to be a rank stranger. No mother nor dad. No mother or dad. Not a friend could I see. Not a friend could I see. They knew not my name. They knew not my name. And I knew not their face. And I knew not their face. I found they were all.
Grayson was a blind man. He played the fiddle from Laurel Bloomery, Tennessee. And Henry Whittier played the guitar from Morganton, North Carolina. They played some of the most lonely music I ever heard. We'd like to do a couple that uh, we recorded in the previous video. And the first one is called A Dark Road to Travel. <laughs> Seventy-eight record. Now we're going to bring John Rigsby in to help me do this one. John, it's good to have you today. Well, it's good to be here today. I see you've been enjoying yourself back there, picking the old man and doing yes, a lot sir. of fiddle playing. Yeah, I've been a jamming the old timers back there a little, trying to learn something. You feel like doing this uh, on the banks of Old Tennessee? Yeah, uh, coming to think of it, we're in on the just about on the banks of Old Tennessee. Tennessee Close today. Bye.
that's already been released. Just like I've been hearing it on the radio, but we haven't got any of them yet. The first song that Ralph too wrote, we'd like to do that for you now. And uh, that's not on that tape, is it? But that's on another one we just recorded about two weeks ago. This uh, fall, this summer, we recorded three, I believe three new CDs. And uh, the first one is already out. And would you like to Tell the folks the title of the, your first song. Yeah, I remember you in my dreams of what we titled. Can't forget the first night that I met you. I knew you were the girl of my dreams. But knowing you belong to another, I never thought we could ever be. When the sun sinks low in the evening, it is then I get so lonesome it seems If we never meet again, little darling I will always remember you in my dream I go back to the place where I first met you And I'll wait for you to walk through the door But up till now this has never happened 
So I guess I'll dream on forevermore. When the sun sinks low in the evening, it is then I get so lonesome to see. If we never meet again, little darling, I will always remember you in my dream. Yeah. Steve, I guess it's about time you and me are shining a little bit.
coat was ugly and not fit to wear. I thought of it often and shed many tears. Then there was a clean one presented to view. I laid off the old coat and put on the new. I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. I laid off the old coat, put on the new. This coat, it fits me and keeps me so warm. It's good in the winter, it's good in the storm. My Savior has dressed me in garments so right. He filled me with glory, his image. I'll burn. I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. I laid off the old coat and put on the new. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's one called uh, Two Coats. Y'all enjoy the sacred songs. Okay, we've got one more we'd like to do. I promised somebody we would do it, and we have this one recorded. And we'll be out at the table for a while after we finish up. And anybody would like to get a record or a tape or a songbook, uh, anything like that, well, we'll be right out there. And this one's called uh, The White Oak on the Hill. There's a white oak on the hill at my old clinch bound home that stands straight and true on that windy spur alone. And when the cold wind blows, its roots they been known. But when the storm that passed straightens up and goes on. Lord, let me be like that white oak on the hill and help me to live in your almighty will. Help me on my journey, Lord, to travel on my own and give me the strength to straighten You know the troubles of this life, they sometimes get you down. And when I look for my friends, they're not always around. And the good Lord seemed to say, son, get up and do my will. And always remember that old white oak on the hill. 
you'd like to hear him do one, wouldn't you? Come on up here, Mr. Irwin, and then pick one with us. I hate to tell this boy on the end of the, of the, oh, you're out of a job. I mean, that. <laughs> if he ever leaves me, I'll call you. <laughs> uh, sometimes I get serious. On a scale of one to 10, I'm about a one, and he's a 12. That's, that's the truth. But Ralph, you're very kind to let me come up here and, uh, and do this. Now I can go out and tell everybody, yeah, I used to play with Ralph Stanley. Right, you done fine, fine job. I'll tell you what you've done by Joe. You've ruined everything. You'll have the biggest head in this country. I'll guarantee you that. Thank you very much. I hope we really enjoyed being here with you, like I said a while ago, and, and Mr. Irwin and all of the workers here and everybody that's uh, concerned around here has really went overboard to make us well. I really appreciate that. When they treat you that way, you feel like getting out and really putting on a good show. That's exactly what they Hope we can come back next year. And I guess as far as I know, we've been good. Speaking for all the Flinch Mountain boys, James Price, James Shelton, Steve Parkman, Mayor Jack Cook, uh, John Rigsby, and Ralph Stanley II, after we do the Orange Blossom special, we'll say so long to you. And uh, I'd like to do this in memory. Chevy Y. Orange Blossom Special. After that, we'll say so long and may God bless you.
a cow on the tracks. Well, get her off. Mighty fine. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. The great Ralph Stanley, folks, and his Clinch Mountain boys. I guess you better come back, Ralph. I, I thought for a minute they were clapping for me, but I believe it's for you. Thank you again, folks. 